Thanks for purchasing Kubota DC60 Combine Harvester. In order to ensure that you can use the product safely and right for a long time, we will explain the right operating method to you in this video. This video has the following contents. 1. Safe Operation 2. Machine Introduction 3. Operation Condition 4. Preparation Before Harvesting 5. Harvesting Method Basic Harvesting Method Harvesting Methods Under Different Conditions Manual Threshing Method 6. Movement in Field Loading and Unloading and Safe Transportation 7. Routine Cleaning and Maintenance 8. Solution to the Common Failure and Problems Kubota gives top priority to users' safety. In order to ensure safe operation, please be sure to comply with the following items. Please carefully read and fully understand the contents of the operation manual before using this combine. Driver and assistant should wear proper working suits. Please do not wear loose clothes. The cuffs must be tied. Please do not wear hat, scarf, and do not tie towel around the waist. Please ensure the surroundings are safe when starting and moving the machine. When inspecting, maintaining, cleaning, and lubricating the machine, be sure to stop the engine and remove the key. Please put the safe cover and the protection cover back to the position before starting the operation again. Please do not open the pressure cap of the radiator and auxiliary water tank until the engine is cool. Non-driver should not take the machine. When raising the reaper and making the inspection, cleaning or adjustment, Please lock up the reaper lowering lock plate to ensure the reaper won't go down and then begin the operation. Do not arbitrarily modify the harvester. For the details of security precautions, please refer to the operation manual. Action. First, introduce the main parts of the combine harvester. Combine harvester consists of the reaper portion, which is used to reap and convey the grain. The threshing portion is used to thresh and sort the conveyed grain. The traveling portion, which is made of rubber crawler, can adapt to the muddy field very well. The operation portion can operate the combine easily. And the engine portion is used to provide power. Firstly, let's introduce the most commonly used switches and operation levers. Main switch is used to turn on and off the combine power and to start the engine. The engine will not stop even if the key is on the position of off. When pressing the horn switch, the horn will honk. Before starting and operating the machine, please press the horn to warn. Power steering lever is used to change the combine traveling direction and to move up and down the reaper. This lever works to control the up and down movement of the reel. Meter panel is used to show the rotating speed of the engine, operating time and other status. It has five alarm lamps including coolant temperature alarm lamp, charging alarm lamp, engine oil pressure alarm lamp, grain full alarm lamp, and number two screw clogged alarm lamp. This is an associated lighting switch of front light and operation light. This is engine stop knob. The engine stops working when pulling out the knob. Make sure the knob is in starting position when starting the engine. 
main shift lever is used to control the machine to move forward, move backward, or stop. It should be operated slowly, or it will lead to machine failure. When the lever is set to the backward position, the back buzzer starts to honk. Make sure the main shift lever is in the position of stop when starting the engine, or the engine cannot be started. Range gear shift lever is used to shift high speed, low speed, as well as to apply the parking brake. Acceleration lever controls the engine speed. Tortoise stands for low engine speed position. Rabbit stands for high engine speed position. Threshing clutch lever is used to activate the thresher. When closing, you should operate it slowly. When starting the engine with the thresher clutch lever in the on position, the engine cannot be started. Reaping clutch lever is used to activate the reaper. When closing, you should operate it slowly. Close the reaping clutch lever when the threshing clutch is in the position of on. Then the reaper portion will begin to work. Please be careful. Reaper counter clutch lever is used to reverse the reaper drive when the reaper portion is clogged with straws. When operating the reaper counter clutch lever, please make sure the reaping clutch lever is in the position of off and the engine accelerator lever is in the position of tortoise. Then start the operation. This is the canopy adjustment lever. There are four positions available according to the position of the sunshine. Let's explain how to store away the canopy. Remove the mounting bolts which fixes the canopy and pull out the lock pin. Turn the canopy 180 degrees clockwise to relocate it toward the combine back. Lower the canopy and align the pipe store away positioning hole with the hole of the canopy post. Insert the lock pin back into the position. Operation Condition Normal reaping operation might not be done in some crop or field conditions. So please carefully check the crop and field conditions before starting the operation. Check the water content by touching the crop to confirm its dry level. If your hand doesn't get wet, which means the crop can be harvested, if there are water drops on the crop, it can't be harvested. Reaping operation can be done when your boots sink no more than 30 centimeters in a muddy field. Four. Preparation before harvesting. Walk around the field to clean the foreign objects before harvesting. To improve the harvest efficiency at the corners. And avoid the divider bumping into the field ridge. The four corners of the field should be harvested by hand. Inspect the machine before starting the engine. Remove the back cover of the engine. Check the water separator. When the red float is on the white line, Pour out all the water and oil and clean the filter cup. If the diesel is dirty, please discharge all the dirty oil from the oil tank. Inspect whether the fuel is enough. If not, please add zero high quality diesel. When refilling, do not remove the fuel filter. The water level of the reserve tank should be between the line of low and full. Please add distilled water if it is not enough. In the case of lack of distilled water, Purified water can also be used to replace. Put the machine on the flat ground. Pull out the engine oil gauge to check the amount of the engine oil. The engine oil should be between the upper and lower limited line. If it is not enough, please add Kubota Genuine Engine Oil. Inspect the dust indicator which is at the back of air cleaner components. When it indicates red, it means the air cleaner element is clogged with dust and should be cleaned or changed. Open the threshing portion and check inside to see whether there is any foreign objects. Check whether the main shift lever is on the position of stop. The engine cannot be started if it's on other positions. Put the range gear shift lever on the position of N. The threshing and reaping clutch lever should be on the position of off. 
the engine stopping lever should be on the position of start and the accelerator lever should be on the position of low speed. Raise the auxiliary pedal by hands and put it into the state of floating. Hang the grain bags of the front and back hooks. After mounting the grain bags, please open the grain shutter at the discharge port. Five, harvesting method. Correct harvesting method is to improve the efficiency of harvesting operation. To make the combine adapt to different crops and reduce machine failure. Here are some commonly used harvesting methods. Basic harvesting method. Insert the key. Rotate it to the position of open. Check the safety of surrounding. Press the horn twice. And then start the engine. Pull the acceleration lever slowly. The engine rotating speed should be controlled at about 2000 RPM when traveling on road. Before starting work, please let the engine rotate for a few minutes when started in cold machine status. Otherwise, it will easily lead to mechanical failure. Lift up the reaper portion. Close the threshing clutch lever and the reaping clutch lever slowly. And increase the engine rotating speed to the level of green scale line. If works with the speed below that line, it may lead to machine failure. Operate the main shift lever slowly and the machine will begin to move. Moving the main shift lever very quickly will damage the HST, belts, and other parts. To avoid the reaper portion getting deformed when it bumps into the field edge, please keep the crop divider away from the edge at a distance of 15 centimeters. The length of the crop fed into the reaper portion should be 40 to 130 centimeters. Please adjust the reaping height while harvesting. Please keep the harvesting speed slow in the first round and keep moving in a straight line while harvesting. Adjust the direction slightly when necessary. If the machine runs in a Z-shaped way, it will easily get clogged. Besides managing the grain bags, the cooperator should check whether the grains are clean. If not, please check the machine and adjust it properly. The cooperator should hold the handrail firmly instead of hold the shutter or other places. Do not remove the grain bag while changing the direction. The way of harvesting the corners, lift up the reaper portion after finishing the reaping work along the forward direction. Then move back about 8 to 10 meters and turn left properly. After finishing the sidelong reaping work in a straight line, lift the reaper portion and move back. Do not press down the crops while moving back. Repeat the above operation twice. Make a sidelong reaping in a straight line three times. Then adjust the direction and turn left while moving forward. The machine begins to reap in a straight line. Here is the way of turning in the process of harvesting. Lift up the reaper portion after finishing the reaping work along the forward direction and move forward to the place in front of the crop. Turn left at 45 degrees. Then turn right when moving back. When the right grain divider is aligned with the edge of the crop, lower down the reaper portion to do the reaping work. Put the main shift lever in the position of stop before stopping the engine. And put the harvesting and threshing clutch lever in the position of off. Lower down the reaper portion and put the accelerator lever in the side of tortoise to slow down the engine rotating speed. Pull up the engine stopping rod and turn the main switch to the position of off. After a long time operation, please make the engine work slowly for 5 to 10 minutes before stopping the engine. Harvesting methods with different conditions. When harvesting in wet field, it should expand the manual reaping areas in the corners of the fields. Increase the straight reaping times in order to avoid turning suddenly. Harvest the solid places firstly and then harvest the soft places unidirectionally. When reaping the lodged crops in a reverse direction, please slow down the operation speed 
and lower the reel to the lowest position. If even this cannot pick up the lodge crops, please adjust the angle of the tine. When the pickup claw of the reel pulls in the crops, if there are many grains drop off before going into the reaper portion, please change the belt position to adjust reel rotating speed. After changing, please be sure to adjust the belt tension to avoid belt slipping. Around the barrier, please harvest manually. Please don't reap in a Z-shaped way and please don't make a sharp turn. Manual Threshing Method 1. Put the range gear shift lever in the position of P, parking, after stopping the combine. 2. Remove the reel drive belt, raise the reaper portion a little bit, and then put the reel in the highest position. 3. Put the threshing and harvesting clutch lever in the position of on. 4. Operate the accelerator lever to make the engine tachometer point to the green line. 5. Pour the grains reaped manually to the reaper portion little by little. Do not do manual threshing when the grain harvester is still running. Pay attention to the discharge straw. If doing manual threshing in one place, there will be too many straws piled up at one place, which may cause a fire accident. Please move the machine in time. The amount fed into the reaper portion should not be over five handful of crops, or the reaper portion might be clogged. Safe loading and safe transportation. Do not move around the shoulder near the ditch, hole, and dike. Please check first while moving on the place where weeds flourish or covered by water. Otherwise, the machine might fall over. Be sure to lift up the safety guard bars and auxiliary pedal before moving. Do not travel on a bad condition road for a long time. When moving across the field ridge, the harvester should be vertical to it. If the height of the ridge is over 10 centimeters, it is necessary to use a special springboard. If not, the machine will easily fall over. Load the truck on a level surface without any people around. To load the truck, the combine travels forward. And to unload the truck, the combine travels backward. The length of the bridge should be more than four times of the truck bed height. And the width should be over 55 centimeters. Each bridge must withstand 2,500 kilograms or more with non-skid structure. Raise the reaper. Put the range gear shift lever in the position of L. And the rotating speed of the engine should be over 2,000. Do not change the direction while on the bridge. If changing direction on the bridge, it might cause fallover accident. So when adjusting the direction, move the machine back to the previous place and align the direction. When going through the interface of the bridge and truck bed, please pay attention that the machine will go down suddenly. After loading on the truck, lower down the reaper portion and stop the engine. Put the range gear shift lever into the P position and fasten the machine with rope. Unloading the truck also need to pay attention to the above aspects. Do not make sudden braking or sharp turning when transporting by truck, or it might cause fallover accident. The driver should not drive fatigued. Before transporting, it is necessary for the driver to check the components related with safety, such as the brake system, steering system, and the light. Cleaning and Maintenance To avoid combine trouble and malfunction during harvest operation and ensure a long-term use, it's very important to clean the machine. Please clean the dustproof net of the engine room with a soft brush. Do not let the fin deform when sweeping the radiator fin. Please clean up the mud on the cutting blade or under the auger drum. 
please open the upper cleaning port of the feeder conveyor and clean up inside. Please remove all the side covers of the threshing portion and then clean up the dust around each drive belt. There are cleaning covers on the bottom of the number one and number two screw. After removing wing bolts, clean it up by removing the bottom covers. Do not mount the bottom covers of the number one and number two screw by mistake. The left end of the cover of number one screw is bevel processed. There is a cleaning port in the joint part of number one vertical screw and horizontal screw. Remove the cover and clean inside. After harvesting the wet crops, the sieve case will be accumulated by straw crumbs. Open the left side cover plate in the threshing room and then clean it up. Clean the concave at the same time. After cleaning the combine harvester or before harvesting operation, please add lubricate oil or grease to each part. For further details, please refer to DC 60 maintenance video. Common failure and problems. When the water temperature alarm lamp lights up, please stop harvesting operation. Put the harvesting and threshing clutch lever in the position of off and keep the engine rotating at a low speed. Inspect the machine after the alarm lamp turns off and the engine fully cools down. You can't continue harvesting until the problem is solved. 1. Check if there is any mud or dust on dust cover, radiator, and oil cooler fin. Please clean them. 2. Check if fan belt is loosened or damaged. Please tighten or change the belt if it is in such condition. 3. Check if the cooling water is enough or leakage. If there is anything abnormal, please refill, repair, or change it. When the number two screw clogged alarm lamp lights up, put the threshing and harvesting clutch lever in the position of off and stop the engine. One, check if the number two screw is clogged by foreign matters. If it is clogged, please remove the foreign matters. Two, check if the tension force of the drive belt is enough. If not, Please adjust the tension force. 3. Check if the belt is damaged. If it is damaged, please change it. 4. Check if number 2 screw is abnormally abrasion. If it is, please change it. If lots of grains get scattered, please put the threshing and harvesting clutch in the position of off and stop the engine. 1. Check the opening of the winnower wind force adjustment plate. If the wind is too strong, Adjust it to the direction of weaker wind. 2. Check the opening of the vibrating sieve. If it is too narrow, please adjust it to the position of wider opening. 3. Check if the position of the reinforcement plate at the back of vibrating sieve is too low. If it is, please adjust it higher. 4. Check the size of grain sieve holes. If they are too small, replace it with bigger one. 5. Check if the concave is clogged. If it is, please clean it up. If the combine is in poor selection, please put the threshing and reaping clutch lever in the off position and stop the engine. 1. Check the opening degree of the wind adjustment plate. If the wind is too weak, adjust it to the direction of stronger wind. 2. Check the rotating speed of the engine. If it's too slow, accelerate the throttle. 3. Check the size of grain sieve holes. If they are too big, replace it with smaller one. 4. Check the opening of the vibrating sieve's blade. If it's too wide, please adjust it to the direction of narrower opening. During the operation, if the engine stops because the fuel is running out, please restart the engine as the following steps. 1. Put the main shift lever in the stop position. 2. Put the threshing and reaping clutch lever in the off position. 3. Add diesel to the fuel tank. 4. Remove the inspection plate behind the engine room. 5. Sliding up and down the fuel feed handle, which is next to the fuel feed pump, to pump fuel to the engine. 
contact the local Kubota dealer if the problems cannot be solved after operating according to the above methods. For the details not mentioned in this video, please refer to the operation manual. Where there is field, there is Kubota. Thanks for purchasing Kubota DC-60 Combine Harvester.